Well, I'm in my robe and my hat. <laughs> Good combination. I'm going to be starting uh, this project today, and uh, we'll see you on the other side of uh, my uh, intro. Time to play with some clay. All right, I know it's been a long time since I've uh, actually done anything, and I'm telling you, I'm still not completely enthused about this whole subject that I'm working on, um, the two fighting horses. Um, I was thinking about doing a uh, horse in a cow camp, but then I got to thinking, that's gonna be too complicated and way too expensive to produce. And so I'm, uh, Still liking the idea of the two fighting horses, but I just got to figure, I got to get inspired to do it. And uh, I guess one way to do it is just start working on the armatures for the horses. I'm not going to show that because I showed that in my instructional videos that I have on uh, BMO. Um, I've got, I think I got enough uh, aluminum wire to make my armatures. I'm just hoping it's strong enough to, for the size horse that I'm going to be doing, which is uh, this here. The horse is going to be uh, 11 inches from the tip of his nose to the back of his tail, um, and about 8 inches uh, from the bottom of the hoof to the top of the head. That's just the scale. Uh, of course, I'm going to have the uh, horse in a different position than standing, so that's going to actually increase the size of the piece. But I've got to have an armature that's strong enough to hold the clay. And I also have to work out the uh, the uh, engineering as far as how to sculpt each horse separately and then put them together to make it look like they're all together. Uh, a bunch of different things I have to figure out. Uh, I'm going to be working on the armature this afternoon. Um, and then I'll... Uh, pick this up when I start putting clay on it, but I'm not sure when that's going to be. And I, Again, I, it just takes time. I haven't really started anything new in a, well, since I worked on uh, spotted, uh, spotted Doe or whatever the name of that Indian girl I did. Can't think of the name of it right now. <laughs> anyway, uh, Spotted, spotted Fawn, I think it was called. Um, and that one, the armature is already made, so uh, this is uh, something I haven't done in probably six months or more because I've been working on a lot of uh, old pieces with ready-made armatures and, and clay already on them. So it's, uh, you have to work yourself into that mode of uh, creativity. You can't just force it. You have to uh, sort of let it flow into you and flow out of your fingers. And right now, it ain't flowing inside right now. And I think the only way to do it is like writing a story. You start with the first paragraph. And the first paragraph, in this case, is going to be the armature of the horses. So I'm going to do that and I'll come right back. Alright, I got the main body started. Now I do need to do the legs and get those attached. Well, as you can see, I've got both armatures made for both horses. And uh, the next step will be for me to make a uh, base for these. i got to design the uh, battle between the two horses. And once I do that, uh, then I can design the base. It's going to take a while. Now, I don't know when I'll be back uh, online. Uh, with uh, this, it's going to take me a couple of days to get in the mood to do this. It took me a lot to even do this. Um, creativity can't be rushed or pushed. Um, you got to have that spark. And right now, I'm not really inspired, and so the spark ain't there yet. It will. I just have to go with the flow. 
All right, good night, everybody, and I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.